welcome back. Stasa 23 here, back again with some knife therapy. And uh, it's a long awaited video. Finally, I got my buddy Copper Dice here to do a pocket dump. He's been busy lately. And uh, you wanna say hey? Hey, I got tired of everybody, every store I went to and every uh, everywhere I went in public, everybody kept screaming my name. So <laughs> I took some time off. They're like, is that Copper Dice? Yeah, yeah that's gotta be him. <laughs> So we're gonna just show y'all what's in the pockets today. I'm carrying around my, I think it's 400 pound Gorilla Hank. Patriotic Hank, I like those things about that Hank. I like the Hank, I wonder how he got that name, 400 pound Gorilla. I don't know. Have to ask him. He's not 400 pounds, I don't understand, I don't know. A Gorilla is probably about 400 pounds, yeah, if so I maybe, had to say. Maybe, yeah, I don't know, maybe that's it, I don't know. I never never asked him, he, uh, he, sent, he sent me some of these uh, out of the kindness of his heart, and I've been carrying. I got a bunch of different ones, but this is my favorite one, just because I like like the pattern on it. Yeah, I like the I like how stiff it is, you know. Yeah, it's nice. I use this one like I I use I keep one in my truck to wipe my face with. I don't wipe my face with this one as much because it's it's a little bit stiffer. I like you know a nice soft like flannel style for my face. So this one works good, you know, if I have something in my hands or something, or I need to wipe down my blade or something like that. That's what that one's being used for. I mean, that, what do you, do you use a hank at all? Yeah, I work every day. Yeah, yeah, definitely. When I, when I was at the plant, I always had one. Something, a rag, something. Yeah. And nothing's changed with the wallet. Still carrying the Das Offenmeer Gun Deck Wallet. If you haven't checked him out, check him out on Instagram. Excellent stuff. He's, what is he stationed? He's a Marine, right? He's in the Navy. Navy stationed in uh, Hawaii, right? Yeah. yeah, station in Hawaii, super nice guy, very quality product, stand behind all of them. And this has got one stitch on it, that's so cool. It's like envelope style, I can't open it up because I got my credit card right there. But this is a Chromex leather, and this leather has held up so well, don't you think? I yeah. mean, it's it's very supple, but it when it stretches out, uh, all it takes is a nice sweating from the back of my pocket to go yeah, back to shape. you got your money's worth from... Uh that purchase right yeah. there. Yeah, I mean, that uh, it was it was a little bit more expensive than the, the average ones, but I'm so glad I spent the money because that leather's awesome. All righty, let's see. Uh, also got just, uh, what is it? The Paca Pen Ink Pen uh, in the Cryptek pattern, I think it is. I bought a bunch of these, some in the Cryptek. They got solid colors. What I like about these is how lightweight they are and that you pull it out like that and it makes a full size pen. Writes well and when you're done with it, just throw it away. Mm -hmm. Why you throw it away? Because you can't get no ink for it? Yeah, I mean, it, it's no, it's pointless. It's pla you know, it's cheap. Oop. It's a cheap pen, so it would be, the ink would probably be more than the pen. Uh. <laughs> so, uh, I mean, I don't know. I never even, one never even checked around to see if you could change it out. And my flashlight is uh, my old, uh, what is it? Rovivon Aurora. This is an excellent little micro light right here. Uh, sometimes I'll clip it with this to my keychain. I think, what is it, like 500 lumens? Something like that, I'm not sure, but it's a nice aluminum body. It's got a USB charging port on it, and they're fairly inexpensive too. There's the, the charging port. Oh, yeah, that's cool. And uh, what, do you, what do you think about that light? Have you, have you tried it? No, I haven't. You hold the button down. That's the only thing I don't like about it. You gotta hold the button down for a little while for it to get to come on. And then, uh, that's like, I think that's the medium mode right there. Well, that's cool though that uh, it wouldn't come yeah, on Yeah, that, well, that's one good, oh, there it is. See, that's pretty bright. That's, the, that's really the bright for this little light. Yeah, for being as small as it is, I, it's very, so it, it takes a beating too. I mean, it, it's been on my keys for a while and it's all beat up. They make them in different colors. I think you can get one in titanium as well for the titanium lovers like me out there. Um, then I got my titanium metal, I mean like stash can pill fob that I put my anno finish on there. Just that's pretty much the remaining reason why I bought the titanium one. It was cheap and I wanted to see if I could put my finish on it. And that, that's usually my left pocket. And then I'm carrying around this knife kits um, pry bar. 
uh, found them on Instagram. I, I love the, the look of this one and it, every, everything works well. Everything's like rounded and I added this clip to it myself and then I of course had to put my finish on that as that, well. That clip went very well. How Didn't they have a hole? Yeah, it, the hole, like if it didn't have the clip, this hole right here allows you to put a, a bit in there. Oh, okay. But I'm not gonna carry around a bit So where with you me. got that circle thing? Um, I, just from my parts bin that I got from all my old folders okay. at the graveyard of knives. So it's just a little washer to, so this wouldn't go straight right, into right. it. And then uh, I had a, uh, this is a ZT pivot right here that right. it went in there. So it threaded into that pivot. Where's the ZT at, that, that pivot? Uh, ZT will give you free hardware. Uh -oh. so. Uh, and I like, look at that. I like that finish they put on it. They, they must have hit it with a high grit sand uh, belt. You see that? Yeah. And then they anode it after. I love how that, that came out because then it gives you that, that uh, antique look. I like anodizing stuff like that. Just this is a good, good pry bar. Everything works good. The, the bottle opener works great. I mean, they're not super cheap, but I like, I like nice stuff. Yeah. Alrighty. And then my lightweight folder today was the uh dragonfly warney um this is this is just a this is a nice like very lightweight um uh, I, I love it anything that you have to like do the puncture mm -hmm. and drag you know package knife this is my number one package knife you, it usually sits on my table but it got picked up today and you know full full grip what you think about this one, the warning? Yeah, I knew you was you had to have it. You like you a fan of the warnings? Well, especially since I, I I made my own, remember? Yeah. And I, I actually I like the way the one that I made is it doesn't make it as wide because I went straight down with it instead of making this hump. Mine's a lot lower profile than that. I thought you didn't like it when you first got it for some reason. Um, I I, I don't like the fact that it's got a somewhat of a recurve in it. It's not perfectly straight. And uh, it, it was a little gritty out of box, but you know, it, once you once you start using a blade, you start to appreciate it more. <laughs> and their VG10 is just uh, it's just pretty soft, but I don't mind it on a small knife like that because it's easily stropped up, and I can get that that hair popping edge right back quickly. Yeah. And real real quick, my last blade was one that was gifted to me by a good friend, and that is the Shaman and S90V Sprint Run, the carbon fiber. I still need to do a video on this guy. Uh, I think I got a comparison video with this and another blade coming up soon. Uh, the Shaman's just a great hard use knife. Yeah, that's a slab of S90 yeah. right there. And super smooth, bank vault lockup. Yeah, look at that thickness. Even with that carbon fiber, it still feels heavy. Yeah, it is. It's, it's got liners inside in there, so it's got liners. But that steel is what's making the weight, you know? Right. There's just a lot of S90V. They've been putting out a lot of S90 lately in their, yeah. as their premium. So there you go. That's what's in my pockets. I'm interested to see what the, uh, Copper Dice has deep in them pockets. Uh, you know, especially sometimes when you come to the house, he's got... I ain't loaded Extra like stuff. like that. <laughs> Today I was doing stuff outside the house and then did stuff in the shop, so that's why I got a little bit extra stuff on me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I start off drinking this Red Bull. This <laughs> this wasn't in my pocket, but it's in my belly. <laughs> I got uh blah, 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 this this. Oh, oh, I love that dude. This pen is. Was it tied to designs? Uh, yeah, something like that. Because I was looking it up the other night on Instagram. I just think it's got earth magnet in the, in the cap right there and talk about a strong magnet. I mean, anybody who's ever used an earth magnet knows how strong they are. That, it's got it's a magnet a, in the cap. I like the on the tail. I think that's what I like so much about it. Because I have, let's see, I, oh, I actually have my copper. I have my tactical turn or whatever it is. And this is just a, a big pen. Look at this. You can fidget with this. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely. I can see myself at work playing around with that. Uh, is that the mini or is that the full that's size? The, that's the medium. The medium. I that's believe. perfect right there. I could be lying. I mean, I don't I don't know. <laughs> I, know the, I know the I know the small is what I originally you looked at. You got Urban EDC? No, I got it from his site. Oh, okay. Because Urban EDC had some, but there were the mediums. I'm terrible with names. I can't remember nothing, but it's... Ti two yeah, tie two designs yeah tie two designs yeah I looked him up last I think night. That, I think he's in Hawaii I'm not sure where he's at but but it's a great writing pen and yeah. uh, 
A lot of people have them. What you don't know what cartridge is in that, huh? Nope. Oh, we can see. I love the Schmidt cartridge. That's my favorite cartridge now. You gotta buy the pocket clip though. That's How much what's... was that? That does it say like right there? Turn it. What does it say? A Uni SR. Uni ball. Um, that writes really well. Yeah. Yeah. It's probably much, com. I mean, very common too. How much was that one? This what this whole setup probably seventy five bucks. Is it seventy five? Yeah, I know. And that's. I mean, of course, that's a lot for a pen, but it's not a lot for a titanium pen. If you ever look around, I mean, a titanium hinder pen is two hundred dollars. Yeah, it took a long time for me to work the nerve up to buy something at a pen at that price. But, yeah, but your work, you're always when I do it every day. I you know. I feel like I could uh, justify it a little bit. I definitely think it's a good purchase for you because I, whenever I was in there doing, you know, permits and stuff, yeah. a good pen is important. Yeah, and I don't blow money like like talking about. So yeah. that was a big purchase for me, I'm not going to lie. And uh, I'll go to my main hitter today. Yeah, buddy. This was another big purchase for me. Very big. I was shocked that you bought that. Yeah. After uh, checking mine out. Huh? Yeah, I, I, you kind of uh, persuade me to get it. Be, not you didn't persuade me, but it's just a, that's such a well-made knife. Yeah, but talk about fidget factor. When he brought that home, that oh. up, <laughs> that made me uh, yeah, want I mean, that knife. It is so funny, and I think it's because of the coating. I got the DLC on mine, and mine it it it, it, it comes out so hard. But his is a perfect detent. Like it comes out nice and hard and it, it doesn't feel like you have to like break it real hard it's just an easy flip and it comes out with authority yeah mine you have to like really overcome that detent and it comes flacking out yeah it's got you know this is like i guess their standard version the most common version uh I, you see you got that floating blue backspacer yeah, yours does have float mine's just a bevel backspacer theirs but is uh I. their logo so, but you're happy with that purchase, right? That's, yeah, yeah. I, that, I, is that one of your favorites right now? Yeah, probably. This and another one. Yeah, it's got to be, I know it's got to be up there. They, their machining is just second to none. Yeah, it, it, their tolerance is so tight on the areas. Man, that, that knife, he's refined it so much. It's just too big of a knife for me, and I, I'm glad. That you know, lock bar, just. Oh, make sure you show your watch, too, because I like that. Uh. I want to say though, you know, when you get, when you spend that kind of money on something and you know how you get that disappointment when it comes in the mail, it, mm -hmm. but because you'll find like something wrong with it. Especially when you spend that, yeah, that much money that you want no, I the couldn't. machine to be as perfect as it I is. I couldn't find anything wrong with, with Especially, it. Especially, I used to work in a machine shop, so I look at things a little bit different on machining and stuff, and his machining is out, out of this world. Yeah. He knows, uh, what he knows what he's been doing I just for a while. Pur purchased this watch. It's titanium, too. I so like too I'm much. rocking that titanium today. It came with the, uh, what's the bands that go underneath called? A NATO strap. A NATO strap, and it kind of aggravated my wrist. So I went with these, uh, a band from, let me see the name of them. Yeah. Barton cool. Watch Bands. You, and, you got that from EC Gear, Gear Reviews? Yeah, the watch. But I got these bands from Barton. They accidentally sent me the wrong color. So I asked, I told them about it, and they sent me the right color for free. Barton, is that on Instagram? I guess. Or online. It's probably like on both. Has the little pull, the little um, like pull thing right there, yeah. so you, you can get to the. That's soft, and you know that other one, you get wet and sweaty. Yeah, it's kind of why irritates I wear me. the uh, the Apple Watch because of the that rubber band. It's the only this one uh, the watch, watch is extremely extremely light, lightweight. That's pretty cool. I like it. Uh, then a flashlight up. Y'all probably seen this before, though. It was at Eagle Tech. Uh, I had to make me a pocket clip because I didn't really like the one that came on it. Was the one that came on it too stiff? Or? I don't really remember. It just was, it, it hooked up to these two holes, and for some reason I didn't like it, or I broke it, one of the two. I, I do like the size of that light. That's, that's yeah, something that's that really the good. lower light, my favorite light is my, uh, my, my screen light or whatever that... You know that that brown one that I have? That's my favorite light. And it's about that size except it's a little bit skinnier. 
I don't. I don't think know, it has, but two modes. If I'm gonna carry any light in my pocket, if it's any bigger than that, I'm probably not gonna carry it unless I'm like walking the dog or something. So a true EDC light for me can't be any bigger than that. It's it's a uh, lightweight too. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's why I enjoy the titanium and aluminum lights is because they're so light. So titanium, 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 titanium. I, I see a theme going here. Let's break up, break uh, it up. Oh, break, break it, it up. up. All right, this this uh wallet I had y'all probably seen already too, but this is a. Uh, Oh, let me see if I can hide all that. I don't know if I showed all that, but craft and lore. I'll edit it out if it's if it's in there. But it's a it's like a a, a waxy uh type of leather, and it, it's really good. I kind of got a yeah. It's got like a, a thick be, uh beeswax coating over it, and I mean it, it, it's like when you throw it on the table, it makes a, a loud pop. <laughs> I don't think there's too you know, much. You don't have to open it up. That's fine. Who who makes it? What does it say? What brand? Well, I gotta open it up. Craft and Craft and Lore. Oh, I, I love their stuff. They got a lot of cool stuff. I was looking at one of their wallets the other day. It's high dollar stuff. And show, you gotta show them that fixed blade you had in your back pocket earlier. Uh, who makes that? NC Metalworks. I I like this thing is so cool. A great EDC fixed blade. I've been very proud of now, this. Now I, I gotta show them this. Look Watch at it this. in hand. Let me show them this. The thing that I like about this guy so much is, check this out. This guy knows how to ground. This is CPM 3V. Look at this. When I say thin, it's 10 thousandths behind the edge. And that thing is a lightsaber. He ground it to cut. I mean, and with that size blade, when you see them with like 30 thousandths behind the edge, it doesn't really make sense because that's, that's like, a, it's a, you know, you're not gonna cut nothing huge with it. Yeah, but it still gives you the the strength in the uh yeah three in the tip. Super strong anyway. So it's thicker in the tip. Well, he this was a, a small run he did on Instagram. I noticed it, and uh, for two hundred bucks, he let me yeah. pick the handle material. So and, he does uh, that maker you want to you want to keep an eye on. He's got a folder that he's got in the works, huh? Yeah, he did ten of these, I think, and and I was extremely happy since I got it. Yeah, he did a real good job. This is natural micarta with aluminum uh, lanyard tube and then micarta pins in it. Came with a... A codex sheet. Yeah. So, very, very impressed. I'll definitely probably be checking this out. You can see the contouring he did. You got a Coke bottle going on in the back. You know, it flares out in the back. Um, just, just a really good job. Comfortable in hand. The jimping's a little aggressive. Have you noticed it? Does it hurt you at all when you're putting pressure down? Because it definitely grabs onto you. You can see it's wide and it's deep cut jimping, as you can see right there. So definitely somebody out. I'll, I'll be checking out here in the near future. Let me, uh, let me search, search for them so I can get it right. So y'all can look look them up. Uh, let, me, let me look at it. All right, you, you would find them at NC Steel Works. I've tried, to, I've tried to leave a link down below uh, to his Instagram and Brandon yeah, Brandon Corbin NC Steel Works. Yeah, good 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 uh, quality work there. And he hasn't been doing it long, huh? I have no idea. I just seen he was doing this little run or whatever, and uh, he got it to me in a great timely manner and talked the whole way through it. Uh, he asked a few different things about how I wanted to finish on the blade and all that, but the size of it is what's phenomenal yeah, for me. It's perfect. You get a full four finger grip, medium size hand. I mean, you could use this for everything, and and it's it's easy to carry inside the waistband or whatever. Yeah, you can just look at the grind. You can tell how thin it is. That, that's like it's real thin. So let's wrap it up. Anything else you want to say? Keep it wrapped up. <laughs> All right, guys and girls, if you have any questions about any of the stuff we showed today, please leave it down in the comments. If you want to know anything in particular, I'll, I'll do my best to answer you. I'll do my best to leave uh, some of the, the main things in the description box. Just I'm not, I'm not always the best at that, <laughs> so yeah, that, y'all forgive me if I don't. That's kind of the boring part of this job. He yeah, has. it's already it, 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 this channel already cost me an arm and a leg. <laughs> So sometimes it feels like, you know, I don't know, that added stuff is just, that makes me not want to do the video sometimes. So hope everybody's having an absolute wonderful day. To all the people that have uh, been asking about me and looking for me, uh, <laughs> I'm happy to, happy to do this video for y'all. Yeah, all right. All right, guys. I'll see you on the next one. Peace.